Hello students, welcome back to my class, Parts of Wisdom. So this is the final part of subject verb on board or subject verb agreement. Word placement. So word placement, as we have studied till now, let's have a quick recap. Uh, what is subject verb on board? When a verb is placed according to the person and the number of its subject is called subject verb on board. Now study of this chapter occurs and basically six parts, general rules, compound subjects, group noun, plural form, singular meaning, plural form, plural meaning, and definite pronoun, and then word placement. Now, word placement, what is word placement? See, uh, when the words are replaced with, uh, with one another, what happens in a sentence when we find replacement of verb, uh, replacement, replacement of subject, sorry, replacements of subjects, verb directly gets affected. Remember, if we have replacements of subjects in a sentence, verb directly gets affected. For example, see in this uh, sentence, Sita and Gita, Sita and Gita are going to market. Sita and Gita are going to market. While in this sentence, Sita with her sister Gita is going to market. Okay. So now here you can see the meaning of the uh, both the sentences almost uh, the meaning of both the sentences are almost same but not exactly same. Here when in the first sentence we are saying Sita and her sister Gita are going. The focus uh, the focus is on both the girls Sita and Gita both. Okay, Sita and Gita both the persons who are exactly main subject, who are exactly working as main subject, that is why we have placed plural verb. While in the sentence, Sita with her sister Gita is going to market. Here in this sentence, our basic focus is on Sita. Okay, not on Gita. Or basically, we want to tell somebody, uh, sorry, uh -huh, somebody wants to tell that Sita with her, uh, is going, with her sister Gita is going to market. So basically, Sita is going. Sita is going. Now, if anybody asks with whom she is going, so the reply will be with her sister Gita. So basically, we are talking about Sita in the sentence. That is why we have placed it singular verb with our subject, that is Sita, okay. So, you can see a uh, little bit magic, you can say it's not a kind of magic, but we can assume it that uh, in the first sentence, the focus, uh, um, the focus is in, on both the persons, that is why we have placed plural verb, while in the second sentence, the focus is on single person, that is why placed singular verb, okay. So, now, uh, how all these word placements take place? Miss, what kinds of word placements are there because of which our subjects, uh, not subject actually, uh, verbs get affected? First, prepositional phrase. The first one is prepositional phrase. When we have prepositional phrase, how the verbs must be agreed. The students with the teachers are waiting for the result. The students with their teachers are waiting for the result. Now see in the sentence the students. Here we have placed verb according to the students, not with the teacher. Because sub uh, substance here is plural in number that is why we have placed plural verb okay we have not placed this plural verb only because of uh, there is teacher also there is the word teacher also see the same sentence if we write the same sentence in this way the student with a teachers Yes. Reading of the results. 
Okay. So here we will place for is. Here we will place for is. Why? Because our main subject is the student. And that is singular in number. That is singular in number. But what had happened actually we have got prepositional phrase here. Prepositional phrase. So just because of prepositional phrase we have got to, uh, confused that we must place subject according to the first subject or the later subject. So don't get confused with that only. Okay. जो सब्जेक्ट है हमारा वो फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट के अकॉर्डिंग सॉरी वर्क जो है हमारा फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट के अकॉर्डिंग ही यूज होगा हमें प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेंस की बात नहीं मतलब उसको उसके जो सेकंड नाउन है जो भी प्रपोजिशन से कनेक्टेड है उससे हमारे वर्क को अफेक्ट नहीं करना है ठीक है यानी कि द स्टूडेंट्स विद इन ऑन अपॉन इस तरीके से हमारे जो फ्रेज वर्क है प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेज वर्क वो स्टार्ट हो सकते हैं ठीक है प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेजल वर्ब एक्चुअली होता क्या है जैसे कि नॉर्मली हमारे इन इन टू ये सारे हमारे प्रपोजिशन होते हैं ठीक है जब इन प्रपोजिशन के साथ कोई भी दो तीन वर्ड्स ऐड कर दिए जाए ओके जैसे इन द रूम विद माय फ्रेंड इन टू द गार्डन ठीक है तो आ, क्या है कि ये दो तीन वर्ड्स को ऐड कर दिया गया है और कनेक्ट किससे किया गया है प्रपोजिशन से किया गया है इसी वजह से ही प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेज बन जाते हैं ठीक है तो क्योंकि प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेज बन गए तो उससे हमें इफेक्ट नहीं होना है हमारा जो बेसिक फोकस है हमें अपने सब्जेक्ट पर रखना है कि इसमें एग्जैक्टली exactly सब्जेक्ट कौन है किसकी बात हो रही है द बॉय स्टैंडिंग ओवर दर इज द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास द बॉय स्टैंडिंग ओवर दर इज द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास और ये ऐसे भी हो सकता है बॉय स्टैंडिंग ओवर देयर विद हिज फ्रेंड्स इज द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास तो यहाँ पर फ्रेंड्स से हमें इफेक्ट नहीं होना है हमें बेसिक हमारा जो बेसिक सब्जेक्ट है वो बॉय है जो कि सीनियर है देन क्लास इज बिगनिंग विद हू वेज और देन Clauses beginning with who? Sorry. Clauses beginning with who? Which then? In the same way, the second rule tells us that is sometimes we get. sentence or word replacements just because of clauses that are start, starting with uh, who which or that the girl who is talking to her friend the girl who is talking to her friend is my student okay so uh, the girl yahan par hamare two subject are the girl and her friend okay गर्ल और फ्रेंड लेकिन इसमें क्या है कि हु इज टॉकिंग टू हर फ्रेंड ये हमारा पूरा का पूरा एक फेज है ठीक है ये हमारा इसी तरीके से प्रपोजिशन की तरीके से ये हमारा पूरा का पूरा क्लॉज फ्रेज हो गया पूरा का पूरा क्लॉज हो गया सॉरी फ्रेज नहीं हुआ पूरा का पूरा क्लॉज हो गया तो इस क्लॉज को हमें एक तरीके से अलग हटा के रखना पड़ेगा बेसिकली द गर्ल इज माई स्टूडेंट मैं ये बताना चाहती हूँ जो गर्ल है वो मेरी स्टूडेंट है तो फिर मैंने थोड़ा सा एक पॉइंट आउट करके बोला कि जो गर्ल है जो कि अपने फ्रेंड के साथ खड़ी है वो मेरी दोस्त है तो मेरा बेसिक जो फोकस है उसकी फ्रेंड पर नहीं है मेरा जो बेसिक फोकस है वो उस गर्ल पर है उसी वजह से हम हमने क्या किया हमने सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट का यूज किया द बैग दैट इज ऑन दिल इज माइंड द बुक विच यू बॉट ए स्टडी बुक बुक विच यू बॉट ए स्टडी is the best seller of the year okay then comes the last one subject distributive pronouns sometimes we get distributive pronouns or uh, yes distributive pronouns that may confuse you how to place a pronoun 
Like we each respect you. We each respect you. Now, with each, each is counted in singular pronoun. Each is counted in singular. Singular pronoun. Okay. And with each or every, with each or every, we always play singular one. We always play singular one. But here, uh, our main subject is not each. Our main subject is we. Okay. We. That is plural in number. That is plural in number. Okay. So that is why verb will be V1. That means plural form. The verb will take the plural form. The wheels each have two spokes. The wheels have. Here subject is wheels, not each. That is why we place plural verb. Okay. So these are some rules of word placements in subject or form rule. Now we are going to do some of the sentences. That will make you clear how much you have come to know about this rule. The cat behind the door dash trying to attack the mouse yesterday. The cat behind the door. It is, was, has, or her. Has or has. So here we are having behind the door. Behind is a preposition. Behind is a preposition. Okay. Door is not our subject. Basic subject is can. So that is why. And is will not be placed here because we are having the verb, sorry, uh, word yesterday and that indicates the past tense so we will not place is here yes because subject is singular in number and that is in past form that is why we will use was the band behind that two was trying to attack the mouse yesterday has will not be placed here have will not be placed here the flower that is in your hand dash to my garden, I guess. The flower that is in your hand will The flower belongs. The flower that is in your hand belongs to my garden, I guess. He besides coffee. In ingenious for help. He beside coffee dash ingenious for help. Yes, can anybody guess what should be the answer? Is or was has or have? Beside the coffee. Besides the copy, copy ke alara, alara. Hmm. So basically, the focus is on T, not on copy. Alara. Basically, we are having focus on T. So that is why T besides copy is ingenious. What happened? Here dash my name, I was looking for. Here dash my name. Okay, sorry, students, we have not studied uh, this last rule. Uh, work placement part consists in here and there also. Here is my bag, there is your bag, here is my pants, here, here are my pants, there are your pants. See what happens with here and there. Um, if our subject, uh, if our sentence is starting with here or there, if our sentence is starting with here or there, the verb is placed according to the complement. 
कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री स्ट्रक्चर और कॉम्प्लीमेंट हम कह सकते हैं ओके तो ये जो कॉम्प्लीमेंट होता है ये एक्चुअली में सब्जेक्ट का काम करता है तो लास्ट का जो सब्जेक्ट होता है उसका जो भी फॉर्म होता है सिंगुलर या प्लूरल उसके अकॉर्डिंग भी हमें वहाँ को प्लेस करना होता है ओके तो अगर इस एंड में सबसे लास्ट है देर आर योर पैंस होना चाहिए सॉरी देर आर योर पैंस ठीक है तो पैंस तो भी प्लूरल है तो इसलिए हमने प्लूरल वर्ड यूज किया ओके यहाँ पर भी प्लूरल है तो प्लूरल फॉर्म का यूज किया लगती बैग या फिर सिंगुलर है हमने सिंगुलर वर्ड का यूज किया ठीक है तो यहाँ पर पहली रूल है हेयर डैश माय रिंग रिंग इज अ सिंगुलर नॉट तो वी विल प्लेस देयर डैश टू फुट और चंक्स आई फुट हैव लास्ट रिंग देयर डैश अ फुट फुल और चार्ड और चार्ड डेट इस सिंगुलर इन नंबर इस फॉर We dash spoken to her, but with no reason. We each have. We each have because subject is we. Okay. So these are some sentences also word based men. Okay. So finally, ah, uh, the subject verb agreement chapter has been completed. There are some uh, more extra rules. I will tell you about those rules also, and with uh, them, I will uh, in my next session I may come with some of the quizzes of what uh, subject subject verb agreement. Okay. So till then, keep on learning, keep on making revision, and uh, soon you are going to get many good uh, quizzes on my website also. Till then, uh, you must keep on visiting my website also. Then you will find some of the quizzes. Okay. So thank you. Happy learning.